We are in the material recovery facility side of the transfer station where we process our mixed recyclables and um, curbside recyclables and uh, commercial recyclables. Uh, recently and for the last uh, at least four years since the city's operated the facility, uh, we have annually received all of the um, solid waste and recyclable tonnage from the U.S. operations in, uh, on the continent of Antarctica. So Antarctica is governed by uh, an international treaty. Uh, it's the ACA for short, Antarctic Conservation Act. All the, the countries that operate on the ice have to adhere to it if they want a station there. Um, basically, it was put in place um, because there were no regulations to enforce good custodianship over the environment in Antarctica. Um, and it's one of the most pristine environments in the world, and obviously we all have an interest in keeping it that way. So the treaty was put in place in 1979 for that reason. It's basically a giant pack-in, pack-out situation. So anything that we ship down there, we have to ship out. The U.S. Antarctic program is run by the National Science Foundation, and the stations, all the stations down there, their sole purpose is science. So there are scientists and there are science teams, there's support staff, anybody from dishwashers to fuelies to people running heavy equipment, um, all in, in support of the scientists trying to get out to the field and do their work in the small window of favorable weather they have to do it. Some types of research that go on down there um, are glaciology, climate um, research is a big one, penguin research. Uh, we have a unique stream of waste um, because we have limited ability to be flexible in how we collect it um, down on the ice. So Del Norte is one of the few that we've found that are willing to put in the extra effort it takes to sort our waste. MR is a designation um, meaning mixed recyclables. So that's what's going on behind us is some of our staff um, have to hand break open some bags. Uh, we wouldn't normally do that with regular material, but because none of this is CRV, which is California redemption value, we have to make sure that we separate it from that. There's very strict uh, guidelines for claiming CRV. So we want to make sure it's processed correctly. And also the treaty is very strict. So we want to make sure that we're keeping everybody compliant, uh, including best recycling and uh, facility users back in Antarctica. Antarctica delivers approximately 250 to 350 tons per year, depending upon the operations uh, for that season and uh, the level of, level of service they have down there. I believe Del Norte was chosen because of its close proximity to a port and also um, in my conversations with Best Recycling, they think that we provide them with a high level of service and a good rate of return on their materials. I'm proud that uh, we've been chosen and we're able to service uh, the materials from Antarctica. Um, it's, it's an important international treaty and, and we're doing our part.